Imagine an AI tool that can create practically anything you need to promote your business in seconds. And the best part is it's completely free. So the tool I'm talking about is called WebSim. And the first thing we're going to do is use it to create web pages and landing pages. So just go to WebSim.ai and create a free account. It takes like 10 seconds. So now all you have to do is click here and just tell it in plain English what is it that you want it to create. You can also change the AI model, but I find Claude Sonnet 3.5 is amazing, so I wouldn't even change that. So just type in what you want to say. So let's say we are a online piano instructor. I'll give you an example here. And we want to run Google Ads. So we want to create a landing page that we can use with Google Ads. The call to action should be to book a free lesson, use a professional modern clean design, include appropriate imagery, create this in a way that is embeddable and responsive. And I'll get back to this part in a second. So this is a real life scenario where you might be some sort of online coach and you want to run Google ads or some sort of Facebook ads, any kind of ad or any kind of promotion. And you want a simple website that you can use to convert. So once you do that, just hit the button right here. And in a few seconds, it's going to go off and make this website for you. It's actually pretty incredible. So you can see it loading. It's going pretty quickly here. And I'm doing this real time with you. So, uh, Let's see what it spits out. I won't know what it'll spit out. So I'm just trying this live with you. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. It's got the unlock your music potential. It's got a button. It's animating in a keyboard, flexible scheduling. Okay. And so while that's loading, you can actually see your prompt history right here on the left hand bar. And you can see that it's still loading. It does take sometimes, depending on how complex it is, what's generating even a minute or two, but you only did one prompt and boom, just like that, you can see that we've done that. So you could even say like, add some photography. And so you hear, you're just going to talk to it like a real person. You don't need to know any complex coding. It will just make that change for you. And so you can see now it's on V2. So if ever you don't like the version it had, you can just hit discard and it'll bring it back a version, or you can go back and edit your prompt. So it's kind of like using chat GPT, but on steroids because <laughs> it can make almost anything for you. So it's loading our change here to add some photography. Let's give it a few seconds. And so just like that, you can see it added some photography. That's pretty cool. You can see they added some testimonials too. That's a great touch. And so this is a really quick example, but the options are endless. You could say what your brand colors specifically are. You could say that you want to speak in a specific tone. You could give it the name of your business. You could tell it to add very specific sections, so on and so forth. So now if you're happy with this website and you actually want to use it in your own stuff, this is how you do that. So you need to download the HTML file. File. And so when you do that, if you preview the code, you can just drag it into whatever notepad app you have, you will be able to see the code right here. And then you really have three options. And so the first option and what is probably the easiest is to just take this code and throw it into a website building platform that you might already have, whether that's WordPress or my favorite tool I use personally is a tool called Kartra. And so here I am in Kartra and using a tool like this, you can just simply paste the code in that you just created and it will just work instantly. So just hit save, paste the code in. And again, depending on what platform you're using, it'll be slightly different, but basically all website builders and landing page builders usually let you import code or at least good ones do. And then when you do that, then you'll be able to just get your page built for you in seconds and just use it without knowing how to do anything else. And so just like that, it's created our page and you can see that you just need to make a few small tweaks here. You need to relink some images so it's not absolutely perfect depending on what exactly you imported, but it just takes a few minutes to fix and every platform will be different for fixing it. But basically you see that the page has just been imported right there. And when you go to preview it and publish it, you'll see that it will be available on the web and you can just send people to this page now and start collecting traffic. And of course, for example, you need to change this book, your free lesson. Of course, you want to fix that within your own platform to make sure that it shows up a form for whatever the way that you're capturing leads are. So just need to link up a few things, but it's done all the copy and some of the styling and everything for you. 
and there you go. In one prompt, you're probably already 80% done your landing page. Now that was a really simple website I showed you, but check out this website I created also with just one prompt for a fictitious uh, real estate agent. You see, I said, create a website for a real estate agent in New York City, use a modern clean design. The name of the agent is Jimmy Home Seller. And so it made this entire website for Jimmy and it's crazy. Even if you click on the listings themselves, they actually will show a, a artificial listing page. And you can see, I haven't done anything. All of these steps you see here, the way it works is as you click on things, it actually renders that page and it codes it in real time for that first time. So because I clicked on this link, what's happening right now is it's creating and coding this page right now. Like this page doesn't exist yet and it's coding it. So we can see that in a moment when it loads. So this is just an example of something you can create that's obviously a lot more complete and customized for your business if you want. Again, just keep in mind, and this is gonna do that 70, 80%, but you will have to take it into your own platform and then make some tweaks. And the more complicated you make the website, of course, the more things you'll have to hook up. Now, there is another option as this is loading, just to tell you, you could just take the HTML file and host it on a server. And that's way more complex and it's you know beyond the scope of this if you have the technical skills to do so. Or you can just take this as inspiration and then just remake something, taking some of the copy and imagery and everything it made for you. But look at this, this is pretty damn impressive. It just created this artificial listing. It's got pictures. These are all 3D original images that it's rendered. Like this is wild, right? This is really interesting. And so that's how easy it is to create a landing page or a complete website. And again, any changes you need, you would just keep typing in natural English and it will just keep updating that for you. But if you wanna be more clever and take your marketing really to the next level, you might even want to use this as a way to make fun websites to just improve your brand. So here's a website I made. I said, create a website for a fictional time travel agency where users can book trips to historical periods and future scenarios complete with immersive descriptions and interactive timelines. And then it didn't have images, so I told it to update with images. And check this out, it made a booking agency website for time travel. So imagine in the future if you could book time travel trips. And the way you would use something like this is imagine if you were like a travel agent and you put this on your socials. It just shows that you're a fun person, you're memorable, it's a fun thing for people to share. And then off the back of that, you could say like, hey, look, you know, while you can't go back to ancient Egypt, why don't you get in touch and I can get you there in modern times or whatever you want to say. But it's just a really clever, creative way to make yourself stand out and you can create some fun websites that you would normally not invest the time to make your own website, right? So just a really cool, clever way to do this. And some of you might be thinking, but Kevin, I'm not that clever. I can't come up with some ideas like that. That's such a cool idea. Well, I'd love to say it was completely my idea, but you can use a tool called Perplexity AI. And what I told Perplexity was what are some creative prompts to try with WebSim AI, which is the tool we were just using. And so if you're in a specific industry, you could say WebSim AI, by the way, I am a real estate agent or whatever you are. And so you can see that was one of the ideas it gave me. And I actually use that exact prompt. And there's some really cool stuff in here, like future career predictor, dynamic art gallery, interactive mystery house. So you get the idea. You have no excuse. Just put in your industry, use perplexity, get an idea, make a fun site and make a social post about it. But what else can Webson make for you? How about an email newsletter? But before I do that, do me a favor, hit that like button on this video, it really helps me out, and subscribe for more content just like this. Okay, so if we wanna create an email newsletter for your business, it's insanely easy. Literally, once again, all we're doing is giving it a prompt. Create a newsletter for my puppy grooming business, Puppy Pamper, include tips, reminders, and helpful facts. And again, you can add way more details if you want. Just hit that button right there and and away we go. I have no idea what it's gonna do here, but hopefully it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so it's coming together. And so you can see it followed my instructions. It's got grooming tips, friendly reminders, fun pet facts. It's actually pretty cool. And so of course you could update this to say, hey, 
add a call to action, add this, add that, but this is actually pretty awesome, a newsletter in one second. And so what I would do is I would refine this prompt to make sure that every week it can make one of these for you. And maybe you just give it a couple of bullet points for what you want it to say and it will write everything else out for you. That's just an idea. And then if you wanna use this newsletter, it's even easier than the web page. So once again, just go here and download it. And then you have your HTML file. Then what you're gonna do is head over to your email software. And so I'm using Kartra again because Kartra has like 16 tools in one. So it's awesome for that reason and then every email client will be the same and there should be an option here to do HTML. And once again, all we do is paste in our HTML and just like that, it's imported our newsletter. And what's cool is we can actually modify it right here and then send it just like that. So we've started out light with websites and emails, things that are a little bit more simpler to make, but let's make something a little bit more complicated and interactive. So once again, we start here. So let's say we wanna create create a program recommender that helps someone find the right workout program for them and then map their recommendations to my services. So you could just attach those services or simply just copy and paste them. In this example, I've just found some new services examples here. And so all we would do then is hit this button right here. And once again, it will start creating this. Boom, it's making something interactive for us. It's still working. And then let's do this quiz, get my recommendation. And it just gave a recommendation based on your services. Now, of course we could add images. Of course we could even add a call to action to say to book a call and all of the things that you would simply just keep typing down here. Like we could even say something like add a macro nutrient calculator. And so it's gonna go off and build a complete calculator for us. I've never tried this, but I know that it can do it. So let's see. And so just like that, it says, say you were 25 and male, and let's say you were, I don't know, 100 kilograms and you were 70 centimeters. I'm just making this up. And sedentary and lose weight and it would just spit out your daily macronutrients. And so you could even send your clients to this calculator that you just made in seconds. And again, all you would do is use the same website method, download it, embed it, and boom, you have your own calculator embedded. So that was a fitness example, but here I've created a dream vacation virtual tour creator. And so you could say New York, how many days of your trip, and it's gonna plan your itinerary for you. And then you hit personalized tour and it's telling you what to do every single day. And so I made that with one prompt and you can just see that prompt right here and there it is embedded and running in a website. And let's do one final example. This time let's create a game. So let's say we were a finance trader. Let's say we were in the crypto industry or something like this. You could say something like create a Tetris styled game for crypto currency use crypto theming, something like that. You just hit go. And so just like that, <laughs> we've created a game. And of course you could give it way more instructions to make this way more customizable. But again, going back to the idea of you can use these kinds of things to just stand out and share this stuff with your audience on social with almost zero effort. So you're not spending your time to make these kinds of things, but they could be really impactful for your business and make you stand out. And what I've shown you right now is just scratching the surface. There were some really simple examples. If you want some inspiration for what's possible, you can actually browse everything that people have created. So you can see there's all sorts of entertainment things, there's video games, there's all sorts of tools like to generate uh, images, to track trading, this AI creation hub, the C 3D C simulator. So really it is pretty endless what's possible. I mean, look at this right here I found. It is a 3D object viewer and you can turn this into a cube. And so it just goes to show the level of what's possible. We did some very simple things, but 
really, you can create almost anything you can truly think of. But going back to the use cases I showed you, to recap, if you wanna create a simple website or a web app or a web tool, just create it with the prompt and then download the HTML file and then host it within a platform. Again, I use Kartra, I think it's awesome. I'll link it down below, you can get a 30 day free trial. I also have tons of tutorials for Kartra on the channel if you wanna check that out. But again, whether it's Kartra or something else, you can just host it. And likewise for the emails, you can just host it within your own email platform. So really the only thing holding you back is your imagination and your ability to create great prompts. But what if there was a way to take your so-so basic prompt and make it into an amazing prompt automatically? Well, check out this video right here to learn how to do that.